with online business for persons with disability it's really a challenge but with the assistance of the screen reader it has really been of great help to me I got into poultry farming by the fact that I was trying to run away from poverty especially after the completion of my college studies. I am a graduate from Kenyatta University having pursued a bachelor's in gender and development studies. When you finish your college, you expect to get a job but nowadays it's not really guaranteed. So I ensured that I utilized my university loan to start a small business for myself. Currently, I am an intern at the Retirement Benefits Authority and I am also an entrepreneur dealing with poultry farming. Online platforms, it really helps me to connect with people especially who are far and also to advertise what I do to show people who are who are not necessarily my friends what poultry farming is all about I have a WhatsApp business where I have my contacts who get to sell me out to their friends uh, with the assistance of uh, someone else like a sighted person it's really made my work easier I had to take pictures to post those pictures online so with the assistance of this aid it really made my work easier and on the tech side uh, I'd say I required a voice assistant software which really helped me to read the messages sent by my clients I find it accessible and convenient especially using the screen reader because it gets to read almost everything the captions photo description and also if i want to just send a voice note it's so easy hey google hello there was power outage at home so my parents were not able to shoot any video because they didn't have power in their mobile phones my chickens stay at my parents home because i don't have a space to keep them here in nairobi my home is in kericho so by bus it would take around five to six hours for the visually impaired traveling is really difficult because first of all Nairobi is really a congested city and since mostly we depend on our hearing uh, it becomes difficult for us to easily move around Nairobi because you get confused, you lose direction of where you are going, you can easily enter into a ditch. My connection with my aid is a sisterhood, so she's my sister. She's always there to ensure that uh, it is smooth to transact money online for me and that I don't uh, fall into traps maybe of scammers or any other individuals who might have fishy business. Sometimes you find that when someone needs you to deliver products to them and then they get to realize that you are disabled, they might decide to just change their mind and say, no, 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 I have decided to just cancel this delivery. So, but with digital platforms, it's really easy because some people wouldn't know that whoever they are dealing with is a PWD directly because the one who is doing the delivery is normally my assistant. So, people first of all get to know what you do before they really know who the person doing the work is. Yeah. Wow. My parents have really played a very important role in my poultry business. Mm -hmm. My dad was a vet. So 
I knew that if anything goes south, he would be there for me. My mom is the one who normally takes care of the chicken, ensures that they have eaten. As you can see from the video, they are in small number because majority, I'm told, died. There was a, an infection that came. So I will be going there and have a conversation with them to just know what happened. So for now, we don't receive any orders for eggs or chicken because they are few and they cannot produce eggs at this moment. Doing business online for a person with disability, just like any other person, has its own fair share of challenges. But for us, uh, it's double the challenges those other people face. But despite all these challenges, we can really do a good job. It requires a lot of patience and determination. And yeah, there's nothing that is impossible to do.